Now, I know what you're thinking. Nintendo just released the Nintendo Switch OLED. There is no way they would release a new revision so close to another revision. Not at all. I mean, it's not like they haven't lied about revisions or new Nintendo consoles in the past, right? Nope, not once. Hey guys, it's Rob here and welcome back to the Robo Chan Show where we cover the latest gaming news, leaks, and rumors from Microsoft, Sony, and Nintendo in 2020 and beyond. If you want to be kept up on the latest gaming news, make sure you click that red subscribe button below this video and that notification bell so you know when I upload. And if you're interested, I have a Patreon, which link to that will be in the pinned comment along with my Twitter account. In this video, we are going to talk about the new rumors of another Nintendo Switch revision that is separate from the Nintendo Switch Pro. We will talk about why it's possible even though the Nintendo Switch OLED just released, and address Nintendo's response to the Nintendo Switch Pro rumors because what they said can be applied here to these new rumors as well. And if you know anything about how the 3DS XL was handled by Nintendo, you know Nintendo can be pretty sneaky. So the Nintendo Switch is going on 5 years in March, which is pretty far away actually at the time of this recording. The Switch will be 5 years by the time Time March hits. Now if you didn't know, Nintendo likes to ditch their old hardware or make big revisions slash upgrades over the past consoles every 5-7 to seven years. It's been like that for a very long time, so the fact that another revision is being rumored right now as well as the Switch Pro is really no shock to me. In fact, even before these rumors sprouted up, I mentioned this in past videos as well. Now I know a lot of you are thinking that it's going to be dumb if Nintendo releases another revision right after the Nintendo Switch OLED and then a Switch Pro. This is something that a lot of people think Nintendo would never do. but but after digging into Nintendo's past, this wouldn't be that far of a stretch and I'll explain why. But first, let's go over the rumors. So this rumor was from a Reddit community that has a ton of rumors and leaks posted there for different consoles, not just Nintendo, and this is what the post says. Nintendo are developing either another Switch revision or the next Nintendo console with physical and digital editions. Nick of Xbox Era said on his podcast that Nintendo are considering either making another revision of the Switch that is digital only, likely to keep the cost down, or the next Switch successor will be digital only. Which, to be honest, I highly doubt Nintendo would do that. But anyways, let's continue. Or they're making the Switch successor that is similar to the PS5 and Xbox Series X, where they make both physical and digital edition on the same console. Now this is something I could see Nintendo doing for the next Nintendo console. While I don't like digital only, some people do. The only small problem with this is that you run into storage problems. We know that Nintendo is never big on storage, opting for users to provide their own storage, which thankfully is usually cheap. So if this rumor is true, I wonder if we will see the same thing as they did with the 3DS, the Wii, the Wii U, the Switch, and so on. Now let's talk about the Nintendo Switch OLED and if it's possible if Nintendo would release another Nintendo Switch console or revision in the next one or two years. I'm gonna say yeah, Nintendo would 100% release another console despite saying they have no plans for revision or any consoles just a couple weeks ago. I don't know if you guys know this, but Nintendo has done this in the past with the 3DS. In fact, the situation is shockingly similar to the Nintendo Switch Pro rumors. So check this out, rumors of a bigger 3DS as did the rumors of a bigger and more powerful Nintendo Switch Pro appeared. Nintendo denied the existence of such 3DS as they did with the Nintendo Switch Pro. The very same month the 3DS XL was launched. Guys, when I say Nintendo will twist their words so they're not exactly lying or just straight up lie, I'm not messing around. They've done this in the past. I wouldn't put it out of the realm of possibility that Nintendo could do the same thing for Switch revisions. I'll go more into this on another video this week which should pop up in the top right corner if it's already out. But guys, Nintendo is really sneaky. Now, do I think these rumors are real? Well, personally, I can't really say that right now. Seeing as this is the only thing that I've seen personally of the digital only Switch, I can't really give a complete opinion on it. But one thing I do have to say is I would not be surprised if these rumors do come true and we do see another revision in the next one or two years, based on what Nintendo has done in the past, which can always tell the future of what Nintendo is going to do. I also think it's entirely possible that Nintendo could see a revision for the Nintendo Switch Lite with an OLED screen in 2022 and a Switch Pro in 2023. As I said in one of my other videos, Nintendo is treating the Switch just like the 3DS when it comes to revisions, and if they were to follow this path as they are now, another revision would happen in 2022. So I guess we just gotta wait and see. Now I was gonna stop at those rumors, but we do have some interesting news about a new Smash Bros like game from WB, which is really cool because I am a huge comic book fan, and the fact that I can play Batman against, say, Shaggy would be really interesting. So we're gonna talk about that topic real quick, and then the video is gonna end. So if you guys have not heard yet, a new 
Smash Bros. like game might be in development from WB. Which is kind of no surprise because Smash Bros. is on its way out, so that leaves an empty spot for the Smash Bros. type game. That is until the next Super Smash Bros. game. But the rumor is that WB is going to be making a Super Smash Bros. like game, and it could have characters like Gandalf from Lord of the Rings, Shaggy from Scooby Doo, and other characters like even Batman. I think it would be really cool to have a game like this and even add characters from the 90s like Courage the Cowardly Dog or like they say on Nintendo Life, Johnny Bravo and all the other characters, maybe even the characters from Ed, Ed and Eddie. Now industry insider Jeff Grubb spoke on this and this is what he had to say. This WB platform fighter is real but it is not a Netherrealm game, come on. The funny thing about all of this with all these platformers that are trying to copy Super Smash Bros Ultimate, because let's be honest that's exactly what they're doing, is that the same thing happened around the Nintendo 64 era where we saw a lot of different Smash Bros type games on these platforms. It feels like I'm being transported back to the 90s and the early 2000s. But with that being said, I just want to talk about that real quick so you guys know about it and have it in your mind. Tell me your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you think the new revision that's separate from the Nintendo Switch Pro is real or not? And what do you think about the WB Smash Bros type game? Tell me your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe for more gaming news. Thanks for watching guys. And remember, stay safe, stay charged, and have a good one.